This tutorial is for high school, um, quarter three grade entry. So here I'm in my high school class. Um, you see your list of assignments that you've included so far this quarter. And if you have not yet already, do include the learning behaviors for quarter three. So I'm just gonna do learning behaviors for Q3. Now some people do embed them throughout their academic assignments for the quarter. Um, and you can do that as well. And then you wouldn't have to do the final one, but I'm just going to enter the final one here. And do remember that you need to include all the learning behaviors unless otherwise specified. So you can see that um, if I check on the high school standard-based grading guidelines, um, that learning behaviors for advisory are listed here. Um, and then as well as for the links enrichment. So let's go back to PowerSchool. Um, and I'm going to just grade that assignment. So I have it. So I'm just going to quickly grade my learning behaviors. And you can do the fill all option if you need to. And then once everything is full for your learning behaviors and your assignments are all graded, just go back to A plus grading. And then under the grade section, you're gonna click on standards. Now this screen will show me what um, grades have been given um, based on all the academic assignments that I've added as well as learning behaviors. So this screen is what will appear on the report card. So if you see on any of the professional judgment indicator icons, you can click on that and, and ask, um, what assignments are being included to get that six? I like to jump up to this little graph and then I can see the different assignments that I've given this quarter. Um, this is only through quarter three. Our semesters, they wipe clean. So at the end of first semester, um, there's a clean slate and now these are the only assignments from quarter three. If you wanna look back at your old quarters, you can do that. If I switch back into semester one, then I was going to see all the assignments from that semester, which the view to get there is not that quick. Um, so there's a few different ways that I can show you for that. If you click on the student's name, you could also see what you gave first semester and what you gave, what you're going to be giving quarter three. Okay, so if I clicked on this formal history writing, I gave four assignments the first semester. They were these, and then I could switch over to quarter three to see what those what those grades were. Let's go back into A plus grading grade standards. So again, on this screen, um, as long as everything is full, all of the assignments, all of the scores will be entered into the quarter three progress report. Um, you can override directly here and change anything that you need. This quarter as well. Um, in this column is where we will enter our comment. So if I look at the requirements in Anne's standard-based grading guidelines, we know that for quarter three, we need to write generic course comment as well as individual comments. So there's a couple ways you could go about that. You could do your generic one. So you would say like in this quarter and whatever that was completed or studied in this quarter and then say fill all and we wanna fill all the comments. And then you could go back into each student, I'm gonna make this box larger, and then add their personal comment afterwards. And then just switch to the next one and add their personal comment. Um, now I know that you have to turn in your Google Doc already to Anne, so you could also do a copy paste from the Google Doc into the comment column. And the last thing to check is when I'm in this box, I can see the number grade that is going to be appearing on this quarter progress report as well. If you wanna show it in this column, just simply go to your settings and in display settings, you can say to make sure that you show the traditional grades. Now, when I go back to that screen, that number will appear. So I've done a few things just to capture it again. I have made sure that all my assignments are graded I included my learning behavior, um, behavior check to make sure that I have those on my report card as well. And then I went to A plus grading 
checked my grades, so my final grades, my final standards grades. Everything on this screen is what appears. So if I needed to override something, I could override that here and it would appear that way on the progress report. This little gear tells me that something's gonna get recalculated because I changed a grade, so I just need to save that. Here is where I enter my comments. Here I have to have a generic and the personal comment for this quarter. And it also shows the course grade that will be indicated on the progress report for this quarter. If you have any questions, please reach out and let me know.